Hi, Sherry and Philip. So here I am at the Windjammer three bedroom, two and a half bath condo. I just walked in the door and when you get here, um, there's tile on the floor here. There is a full bath. It has a surround bathtub with a shower. It has linoleum flooring and a single vanity. So the floors are pretty rough here, so um, you could definitely clean them, um, but I would think you'd probably be replacing it with either LVP or if you like carpet, doing something with the carpet. So the carpet is a Berber, you know, just your traditional 1990s Berber. Um, and it's, you know, it's got traffic stains here. So this is one of the bedrooms. This is the first bedrooms toward the front of the house. Looks like we have a Two full beds in here. Again, they used it as a rental. There are popcorn ceilings, but they seem to be in fine shape. Each room has ceiling fans. There's a closet in here as well for storage. So that's bedroom number one. Again, coming in the front door, bathroom here. There is another there's a long hallway. There's another bedroom here on the right. And the master bedroom is upstairs. You could do it down here if you want, but the master's upstairs. This looks like a queen and a full, or maybe two queens. Ceiling fan. And then this one has a half bath, which is nice. So it's got a commode and a little half sink. So that's nice for guests as well, too. And it's got some paper. In here is the water heater. I looked at the date. It looks like it's 1992, so that would be original to the home. And then there's a window over there, and then this is the closet. Would need a paint job and flooring, and I think you'd be good. We go here. So there's work going on on the outside of the building, so you'll see somebody standing on scaffolding. Up here is the way to the master uh, bedroom and also the tiki bar, so we'll get to that. We're coming into the kitchen living area. There's a pantry right here. You walk in and there's a kitchen. Double sink. <clears throat> does have a dishwasher. It's got Formica countertops. They're not in bad shape. They're just Formica. And then these are the um, cabinets. They're kind of that, I think they call that pickled. I had these and we painted them white. So it's a possibility. Throw some knobs on and you just um, clean them up. Microwave, stove. It's kind of a cloudy day here, so that's not helpful with uh, <laughs> that's not helpful with the view here. But it is a, an amazing, an amazing view. So, kind of, I will open this, but it might get loud with the. Uh, there's, beautiful. And a nice size. I've seen people put a, um, you know, a table and chairs out here, overlooking the ocean. Lovely. The furniture, you know, it's kind of that wicker rattan furniture. <clears throat> Ceiling fan it has a big TV here. I think that's staying as well. And they use this as the eating area. There is space over here for bar stools that they have, so that's great. Coming fully furnished, except for a few personal items and some artwork. They didn't specify what, but again, we're going to come up here. The master bedroom is up here, as well as the uh, washer and dryer and the access to the tiki bar. So coming in this way, washer dryers on the left. Have some more storage.
look down here to the right and this is the master bedroom. Higher seal, high ceiling, king size bed. This one has a full ensuite bathroom. Single vanity. Commode. This one has a, a jetted tub. Tile around the tile, subway tile backsplash. Not really subway tile, but tile, white tile. Heading, there's a closet. And then I am going to open this. I'm not sure what we're going to hear when I open it, but we'll see. And here is your view from your master balcony. go to the tiki bar you will see amazing sunsets in this tiki bar and there's a door here so that's nice so if you're in your master bedroom and you've got people or guests that are kind of partying or whatever you can close your master door and they can close this one as well too and they can go uh, just right downstairs there's an owner's closet here and then you head out to this top floor Tiki bar, this one is covered. It has the whole Margaritaville theme going on here. <laughs> this all stays, I believe. It's got some rockers. But what you're really gonna wanna look at here is, now unfortunately that's not sunset, but you will see amazing sunsets in the summertime. Your whole sky will be lit up. That's Island Park, where Tony lives. And then beyond that, that kind of blue building in the back there, that's right on the intercoastal waterway. So you can see some water uh, far off there. There's Jinx Creek and then the intercoastal waterway. But this is your top floor view. This is the pool area that I was talking about. The Windjammer pool is located in the front. You do have parking underneath. I'll, show, I'll do a tour outside as well too. Um, but you have some guest parking as well. And then you have a dedicated owner's uh, parking spot. And there is storage downstairs as well for your beach toys and bikes and whatnot. So this is the Tiki Bar. And only the top floor units have this, which makes sense. But it's got this Margaritaville Tiki Bar. <laughs> If you didn't want that, you could sell that very easily. All right. So that is the three bedroom, two and a bath, half bath home here at Windjammer. I'll just come downstairs one more time. Give you a little, oh, another overview from the front and walk you back to the front doors. And then I'll do a view from the outside. around to the kitchen and then headed back down this way pantry these are where the two bedrooms are there's the first one with a half bath this is a closet I think I showed you that one oh HVAC so not really a big closet there and then um, heading to a full bath here another bedroom and the front door. All right, I'm gonna go outside and I am going to do a tour of the outside area. <laughs> 